Hello, my name is Steve Montgomery, and together with some of my colleagues, we're going to introduce our ESEB Special Topic Network on the Integrative Biology of Brain Evolution. I'm one of four committee chairs, and together with our organizing committee, we were delighted to get support for our network from ESEB, and we're really excited about this opportunity to help our community discuss the future of our field. So our primary interest is in understanding the diversity and evolution of the brain. Brains play a critical role in an organism's life as the interface between the internal and external environment and in organizing and directing that response to the world around it. There are many aspects of the nervous system that are conserved across large phylogenetic distances, but within this context there's also diversity, from simple measures like size and morphology, illustrated here with a snapshot of mammalian brain diversity, but also in structure for example here, highlighting differences in the relative size of the olfactory bulbs between two species. And it's the significance and function of this diversity that our community aims to explain. So how do differences in structure relate to how the brain processes information? How does this alter behavior? And how is this diversity produced by developmental cellular and molecular processes? And these questions are so expensive that one challenge our community faces is the diversity of approaches taken to study brain evolution. So brains, of course, do not occur in isolation. They're part of a bodily system, which exists in an environment rich in opportunity and threat. And this ecological context will shape the demands on how the brain functions, as will the developmental processes that lead to the formation of a mature organ. So we can approach brain evolution from all of these viewpoints, encompassing embodiment, ecology, functionality and development. But a critical question is then how these processes interact within an evolutionary framework. In addition, we work in a field with a long history and a broad taxonomic and experimental focus. Ideas around the significance of gross measures of neurodiversity such as brain size continue to be debated. And macromorphological studies also allow us to approach major evolutionary transitions by integrating fossil and extant data. Even within large brain vertebrates, we're now also able to map major pathways in the brain and to compare these projectomes across species to identify differences. And at the other end of the size spectrum, we're also increasingly able to map neural circuits at a cellular level and even to manipulate them genetically. So as a field, the study of brain evolution spans endocasts to connectomes and the study of brains with billions of neurons to those with only a few hundred. So how do we integrate ideas across such a large research space to help identify general principles? And what can we do to support efforts to share concepts, resources and tools? These are some of the questions that we hope to explore in our network. Hello, I'm Katya Hoya and I will present the objectives of TIBI. Our objectives are twofold. Our scientific objective is to develop fundamental questions about brain evolution and an interdisciplinary research program. Our first objective is to identify common mechanisms of brain evolution across species. What developmental, physical, and evolutionary drivers and constraints act on brain organization and network architecture? Our second objective is to explain how brains evolve within the greater context of organismal physiology and ecology. How does brain structure, connectivity, and function interact with changes in body, physiology, ecology, and environment? And our third objective is to determine whether certain brain structures and functions are more evolvable than others. Which systems are stable and conserved? Which can change rapidly and adapt? And how do species with different brain organizations invest a similar ecological niche. To work towards these questions, Tibi aims at bringing together researchers working on evolution to exchange ideas, share expertise and tools and methods, share data and discuss new findings. For example, we'd need to add and integrate more and more species into our studies of brain evolution, something we can only achieve as a community. And we would like to facilitate finding and sharing data and resources, tools and expertise and make it easier to work together. So one part will be to bring us together in workshops, hackathons, and online seminars 
A second part will be to create a database for indexing and sharing comparative multiscale brain data, as well as interfacing it with other relevant data, such as ecological, ecological, physiological, sensory, and behavioral data. And a third aspect will be to create a web-based platform for indexing projects open to collaboration to accelerate our understanding of brain evolution processes. Hello, this is Alexandra de Souza. Our network is a new ESEB STN having come together when we applied in 2023 and we are just getting started. Look out for us. Our aim is to address key research challenges in brain evolution through stronger collaboration within our community. Here are some of our proposed outcomes. We will create a platform for confronting research challenges for discussion to improve scientific understanding and approaches within our community and with adjacent fields. We strive for community engagement in a dynamic research environment with a focus on being open and inclusive with a constant online interface. Through collaborative network creation, we aim to exchange ideas, share expertise, and encourage interdisciplinary work to drive innovation. We will advocate for best practices for data production and analysis, for coherent data structures, common identifiers, and effective methods for data access and annotation in brain evolution research. We will promote sharing of raw and derived data through a web-based platform, which serves as a central index for data collections, important to brain evolution research, as well as code and methods, and will enhance accessibility and collaboration in the field. Our planned deliverables include workshops and seminars, which we hope to launch by the end of the year, a team publication, and a special issue about which we will take a broad evolutionary perspective on brain evolution research and a web platform. So we created the Tibby Brain Web, a permanent space for the community to find collaborators and projects and start working together. This community graph is built by connecting people based on their skills and interests they list. So it allows you to see who's close to you in the graph and could be a potential collaborator with similar interests and expertise or, alternatively, who is far in the graph and could bring additional skills to your projects that you don't have in your team yet. And we also created a space to find projects that are open to collaborations. All you need to do to have your project featured here is to go to your project repository on GitHub and add the topic Tibi to it. Then it will automatically appear on the Tibi website. So, join the network. Go to tibi-network.github.io and click on join the network and sign in with your GitHub account so you can then add your expertise and interests to take your place in the network graph.